10 seconds. Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back. It is today, Tuesday, the 13th of June, 2023, at the time of this video. Uh, so, we are just um, looking at the moment, or I'm looking at the moment, uh, the new game, which is supposed to be, when's that supposed to be coming out? Um, September the 6th, 2023. Starfield launches exclusively on Xbox Series X, S. And PC on September the 6th. So, obviously then, it's not going to be coming to the PlayStation uh, 5. Uh, play it day 1 with Xbox Game Pass. Now, that's pretty good. Bethesda doing a Game Pass thing on it. Uh, so, we can actually play it. Maybe we want... To get like the f full game out of it at some point, and buy like maybe the ultimate edition. At least it gives us options. We could uh, if we got Game Pass Ultimate, we could play that on the PC day one. So I'm glad with that. That's going to be good. Um, I'm watching the trailer. Uh, now there's the thing is it's only going to be thirty frames per second. Now I don't know if that's going to be locked on the PC as well. Or if we're going to be able to play 60 FPS um, on day one with like 4K uh, or 1440p or 1080p 60 or something on the PC if we want. Um, I've got my gaming laptop so I'm hoping maybe do 1080p on it because obviously it's only a 1080p laptop. And maybe uh, I don't, th I mean with the, the game details on it, um, it's going to be good but it doesn't tell you what um it's going to be running off actually i wonder if there's uh what engine um let's have a look because uh, it looks beautiful actually really beautiful uh from what i can see of the trailer uh was it star uh field uh all right and gen all right Oh, so it's going to be using Creation Engine 2. Um, by the looks of it, it says here Starfield Engine Creation Engine 2, whatever that is. Uh, Bethesda uh, revealed in June 2021 they were working on a new iteration of the engine simply called the Creation Engine 2 and that it would power... The up and coming game Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6. Okay, so that's going to be good. So it's not uh, like uh, Unreal Engine 5, but at least what they've done is they've shown some really good um, visuals on it from what I could gather of the trailer. But then again, a trailer, when they bring it out, they have to make it look good. So it's, maybe it's like playing on the pc um because they do like in-game footage and stuff a uh, brand new universe 25 years in the making so a brand new universe 25 years in the making so basically you're going to be able to travel to over a thousand different planets or choose over a thousand dif uh, different planets you'll be able to basically uh, like jump different universes or different sectors of the universe uh, or diff uh, the different solar systems you'll be able to jump from uh, should be quite good I mean um, this is going to be an interesting one because it basically for a lot of the games like the Elder Scrolls, uh, like the Skyrim for instance, that's been like big mountains and it's a big game and stuff and it's got like loads of quests and stuff on it. Uh, but this one uh, you'll be able to travel to different planets and be able to take on like oh they've got like dinosaurs in this one as well so you don't know what you're going to be going across 
and apparently it's going to if someone basically one of your friends goes to that same planet uh the quest might be different or the scenarios might be different to when you get there so um it's like different for everyone so that's pretty cool uh they're going to be like you got this like robot style thing uh where basically can help you uh beat the other uh crowds and stuff uh the next generation immersive rpg from bethesda game studios starfield arrives on september 6th get ready to start your epic journey with a look at some brand new starfield gameplay revealed during the xbox game showcase now this was done june the 11th so this was june the 11th and uh was this uh, what awaits you among the stars and unfortunately uh, what's this Oh, and on launches exclusively on Xbox Series X, S, and the PC. So I don't know how it's going to be running on the S. I think they said to uh, was it fourteen forty P, and it's going to be at like thirty frames per second again. So obviously they're going to lock it at thirty FPS, so that way the uh, thing doesn't like um, go a bit funny, but. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you want them to actually maybe bring in an option where, say, if it's 4K and you want a 4K 60, what that does, it jumps it down to, like, 1440p, 60fps on the Xbox Series X. And then, basically, if it's 1440-30, they could do maybe uh, 1080p, uh, 60fps on the xbox series s uh so that would be really good if they could do that maybe give me the options um i mean we don't know what they're going to be doing yet because obviously uh we're towards yet um towards the start of the release of the game um but i don't know i mean i think it looks good right that uh, looks really good and it's something I think we've all been waiting for. Um, and apparently there's going to be like global illumination as well inside the game. So where whatever time of the day it is uh, or wherever the objects are, you're going to see the shadows like literally like follow the area around. So and then with the light, the planet, uh, there's going to be a, a actual planets solar around the solar system so you're going to be able to see it so whatever planet you're on and you'll be able to see the stars and the planets just going around uh the actual planet itself so that's going to be really good and then also they said because of the global illumination the planet whatever the planet's going if it's i'm hoping it's, it should have a night a night and day cycle depending on the planet really actually because uh, some planets i think they don't have like a a, a night and day so, uh, cycle do they some of them some of them are just like pitch dark and stuff because there's no sunlight hitting that area and also there's going to be like gassy planets you'll be able to go to or maybe not go to uh be planets where you can get resources that other pl uh, planets haven't got those resources uh you'll be able to just explore those planets and see what you can get or come across so it's going to be quite an interesting journey and stuff like uh for this game and stuff and hopefully like you'll be able to like i'm hoping that you don't have to just do the storyline on it or the story mode you can just like go off do whatever you want set up camp and maybe just come across some bandits or something or um i know you can basically you should be able to basically nick their ship or something and uh just like uh kill the bandits and take over the base or something that would be awesome actually and then also there's going to be space battles as well so like you'll be able to fly your ships and you'll be able to like uh have fights and stuff with it that's going to be good um and there's going to be like different types of creatures dinosaurs all that kind of stuff in uh, that you come across but they've um they were saying on the showcase Apparently, there's over a thousand planets that you can travel to. So, that's quite cool. I think they're just going after, like, No Man's Sky at this point um, in time. 
hopefully we'll be able to like use a laser gun and just go underground and dig the underground and stuff and just explore underneath because uh, that would be quite cool uh, there's going to be different various different ships that you could fly uh, hopefully there's different weapons that you'll be able to use as well and different tools um, and apparently you'll be able to take characters um, on ships with you to travel across the universe and stuff with you so that'd be awesome thing and you can have them tagging along in, in the ship so it's I think it's going to be quite an interesting game in itself because I think this is a type of game we've been sort of wanting for a very long time where we could just explore I mean I know we've got man knows, um, no man's sky uh, but I don't know there's only so much you could do that's been updated a lot and stuff I might go back to that as well because it's a great game uh, so I might do some gameplay of that to the next come a few days because I've still got a lot I haven't even explored on there yet but yeah looks actually the world's actually look really gorgeous and lifelike as well so it's uh and then you'll be able to before you go on to that planet you'll be able to use some sort of like radar sort of thing where you can check that planet if it's got any resources uh where you parked last time like a uh, checkpoints and stuff so that's going to be really good really interesting um and then you'll be able to as long as you've got enough fuel or um things for your ship you'll be able to jump from one unit well from the one part of the universe to the next to get to the next bit of the solar system or to a new solar system with new stars and new planets so that's going to be quite really good it's going to be something like uh almost like it feels like a star trek uh style game meets um the older scrolls slash um oh, what's that other game called the one uh, where you go around um ah oh, mass effect so it's like mass effect uh slash um star trek slash um a mixture of genres really actually of space games Anyway, guys and girls, let us know what you think. Uh, are you anticipating this game when it comes out? Um, is it going to be really good for you? Are you excited for it? Um, for the whole new game to come out? And uh, it says, join the constellation at starfieldgame.com. Uh, it's going to be on the Game Pass, Xbox Series X and S, PC game, and it's going to be on Steam. So you'll be able to get them on there, but... Unfortunately, by the looks of it, it's not on PlayStation. So, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for this, guys and girls. Let us know in the comments below how excited you are, um, or if this is not your type of game. Um, and if it's not your type of game, what games are you into? Um, are you into sci-fi games? Are you not into sci-fi games? Do you like? Um, exploration games do you like open world games like this uh, do you not like world games like this let us know in the comments and cheers for watching guys and girls and I will uh, stay safe and I hope you guys and girls stay safe as well and if you guys and girls enjoy it do like favorite share comment subscribe and I will be probably doing some live streaming tomorrow as well uh, I'm not too sure about today because it's too hot today uh, it's been very hot. But anyway, you always take care and stay safe. All.